Hey there, this is uh, Strongbow Off The Grid, and um, I'm doing a 10-day challenge, 10 videos in 10 days. I'm going to um, explain more of that on the 10th video on who put me up to this or encouraged me and inspired me to do this, not put me up to it, and uh, getting it out there. So this is primarily an off-grid channel, and as you can see right now, I'm not off-grid. I am in my studio. I'm a massage therapist and uh, I'm not off the grid all the time, uh, most of the time, but I need to come in and do some work and uh, make some money. So this is one of the things I do. I'm a licensed massage therapist here in Alaska. And I wanted to just uh, do some of these videos and be real, uh, get the content out there because I have been so lacking in my uh, production of content for this channel that it's hilarious and not hilarious. So um, I want to talk about some of the regrets I've had in life and how I have offset them or what I'm doing now uh, to work on them. And also with the tiny house living and being off grid. Um, so the tiny house is, uh, is up and running alive and well still uh, up at my lake property. And uh, I have been down in the city, so to speak, uh, live with my girlfriend part time uh, in my office studio here, as you see is a, uh, about 100 miles away from my house. So I'll come down and, uh, and work uh, down here for a few days or a week, and then I'll take another week or so and go back up to my place. So I'm kind of hopscotching right now. Anyways, regrets, uh, life's regrets. So I'm gonna go through in the next 10 days, 10 videos or nine videos from this one, I'm going to talk about some of those things. So one of my first regrets that I wanna talk about is not doing it sooner. Uh, I'm 50 years old uh, this year, and uh, while I've got a lot of positive things and I feel really great about a lot of things I've done, there are some regrets. And one of them is not doing it sooner or believing in myself that I could do this. And I'm still challenging every single day with side hustles and, and throwing all this, throwing the noodles at the wall and see what sticks. I have had probably half a dozen business failures over the last two years. Um, ironically enough, the massage business, it keeps me going. I enjoy doing it. Uh, I'm making enough to function and survive, but I'm not really thriving with it. So I've been trying a lot of uh, side gigs, side businesses, and I'm just going to keep going. I've got a few other ideas and things I'm doing. I'm uh, completing a big project right now, which I'm not going to disclose. I'm going to keep it kind of secret, secret until it's actually ready to go and launch. Um, so one of my regrets, not doing it sooner. I had a blast in my 20s, um, did some great stuff. I worked for a lot of big Fortune 500 companies doing telecommunication stuff, traveled uh, all over Europe doing it. A lot, got a lot of this gray hair from that job in my 20s. Um, so I had some good experiences, but in the end, I'll be all, uh, I wish I would have done, done the off-grid being more independent way sooner. I had the capability, just not the mindset or the um, belief in myself that I could do it. So there's one. Now, with the tiny house, tiny house regrets. Um, it is November, I want to say third. I think it's second or third. Uh, I haven't even looked at the calendar. Except for the massage I'm going to do uh, for a person here coming in in the next 30 minutes. Um the tiny house I built on my own without any real plan. So I'm not a good planner in that sense. I like to just shoot from the hip on a lot of things. Um, and then I'll only complete them part way. So that's the thing I need to work on. That's one of my big things. I'm gonna, I've am i been constantly this past year trying to complete tasks, complete projects to, to full completion. So this will be good. The tiny house, I built it on a trailer that is a little weaker than I would have liked. It was a home-built trailer. A guy had an idea to do a tiny house, but he passed away before he could finish his. And if that isn't a life lesson in, in like getting off your duff to go do stuff, I don't know what is. So a tiny house regret would be not having uh, better plans for it or a more robust trailer. I basically jumped, I think it was like the second or third trailer I took a look at. It was in my budget. Um, it works. I don't know if I would go across country with the weight of my house on the trailer as it sits right now. And in subsequent videos, you can see that, or you can go back in the archives and see 
um, the trailer itself. It's good size. It's about 8,200 pounds. 8,200 pounds, I think, fully completed. And the trailer, it, the axle weight is fine. The axles, there's three of them on there. I think they're 3,500 pound axles. That sounds about right. So we're kind of maxing it out. The axles are pretty close. But the frame itself uh, could have been a little more robust. So there's one regret on the tiny house. And yeah, I will... Um, next videos you know, I'm not always gonna be in the studio here this is just one today I was like man I got to do this and just get the content out there so 50 um, got a great girlfriend been with her for four years now fantastic awesome lady who I couldn't be happier with and two amazing kids so I'm recently divorced a few years back I say recently it just always feels recent I guess um, but I got my kids and uh, the tiny house was a huge step in like around COVID to do that, get myself and my kids a place to stay. And I was living in a driveway in a friend's yard uh, in a really crappy camper. You can go back in the archives and see some of that. That was leaking and terrible. I think it was one of the first videos I ever did. Living literally in a leaky camper without power, just a little generator, no toilet except for a bucket, which ironically I'm not too far from removed in the tiny house with right now. And just deplorable, you know, just like the, for me, it was one of the lower points in my life where I'm just like picked up and looked around and separated from my wife. And I had my kids for the week and I'm like, look at how dad's living. And I had this, this uh, business, this massage business and everything was shut down during COVID. I couldn't work. So luckily, thankfully I qualified for some of the cash and uh, was able to use that to build a tiny house and get a little piece of property. So those were some great awesome things that I did. I'm really glad I did them. And you can look back in the previous videos for some of those. And I'll be updating here uh, every day for the next 10 days. So regrets, not doing it sooner and having the faith in myself to do it. And uh, one of the tiny house regrets, do it on a more robust trailer. Make sure the frame's solid. Um, anticipate the weight. I did mine with two by fours and uh, three eighths sheeting plywood with uh, spray foam insulation. And it's pretty modest inside, and it's still about 82, 8,300 pounds. So just as a heads up on that, um, I'll get into some nitty-gritty stuff with uh, the more awkward things as well. For right now, thanks. Uh, I'm going to stop this, and then I'll post it. And uh, 10 days, 10, uh, 10 videos. Thanks. Thanks for watching.